Hello! Before we start, please vote and subscribe to help me produce more videos. In this one I'll give you some tips on how to slow down the aging process. That being said, let's move on to a top 10 list. Number 10. Address your health on time. Looking young and being seriously ill do not go hand in hand. So, as soon as you've felt some obvious symptoms or noticed changes on your skin, face, unbearable pain in your joints, etc., either check your physician or try to help yourself on your own if the problem does not seem serious. Symptoms like cough, nausea, high temperature, etc. usually could be addressed on your own, especially if you already have experience in solving them. However, most serious symptoms such as back pain, strange moles on your skin and so on should be checked by experienced physicians. Though it's very important to check your health on time, I've set it only at 10th place because it's the only reactive tip on this list. Other tips are proactive and will help you prevent damage that can make your body look colder. Number 9. Make a schedule and stick to it. I'm not talking about your business plans or something. I'm talking about your daily routine and things like having a breakfast, going to sleep and working out at approximately same time. While your circadian rhythm might not seem important to you, it's actually extremely important for your body. By doing things at similar times during every 24-hour period, hormones, enzymes, specific DNA expression, respiration, absolutely everything in your body adopts and prepares to be at its peak activity when it's needed the most which will consequently result in you being more energetic when you need to work out, more sleepy when you need to sleep, etc. If you don't have a schedule and every day is a brand new experience for you, your body might become a jack of all trades and master of none. If you want to stay young for a long time, you must provide circumstances in which your body easily guesses what to do next, thus using the lowest possible energy to prepare and finish routine daily tasks. Number 8. Don't drink alcohol. Alcohol dehydrates the skin and damages it in time. The dehydration our body undergoes from alcohol intake also induces hair loss, causing wrinkles, redness in the face, widening blood vessels. All of this means premature aging. And I'm not even talking about all those other negative effects on our bodies, such as liver and heart damage, shrinking brain, erectile dysfunction, infertility, etc. Drinking beer regularly can also make you fat. Except temporary feeling of euphoria and relaxation and some benefits regarding antioxidant effects of red wine, there are not many positive things alcohol can do for you. If you need to pick between a glass of red wine per day or a bowl of red grapes, your body will appreciate much more the latter one. Number 7. Get physically active. Moderate exercise can improve circulation and boost the immune system, which in turn may give the skin a more youthful appearance. What does moderate exercise mean? Each and every organism is different, but a general rule should be a workout not more than 10 to 30 minutes long, intense and effective. This means that you should push yourself to do as much as you can for the shortest time possible until first grimaces appear on your face. Then stop, because your body will suffer from overwhelming pain at that particular moment. You want your body to be in a good shape, but not at cost of making grimaces while working out. Why? Because repetitive facial expressions contract the underlying muscles. If you repeatedly contract the same muscles, especially while working out, these lines become permanent. And that will make your face look older. You will also increase the production of free radicals in your cells. Having a great body but wrinkled face definitely won't help you look more attractive. Number 6. Avoid tobacco smoke. Not just active but also passive exposure to cigarette smoke greatly speeds up how quickly skin ages. Of more than 4,000 different compounds contained in a cigarette smoke, the most interesting are carbon monoxide and nicotine. Carbon monoxide displaces the oxygen in your skin, while nicotine reduces blood flow, leaving skin dry and discolored. Smoking also depletes nutrients such as vitamin C, which helps protect and repair skin damage. So, if you smoke, either actively or passively, expect wrinkles and a sallow complexion of your skin. How do you prevent this? 
Simply quit smoking and going to places where you are exposed to other people's tobacco smoke. Number 5. Avoid excessive sun exposure. Sun exposure, particularly ultraviolet light containing sunlight, is responsible for most of the visible aging of your skin. UV are short wavelength, high energy rays absorbed by proteins and nucleic acids of your cells with peak absorbance at 200, 280 and 260 nanometers respectively. Also it causes a production of free radicals, very reactive molecules that damage cell structures. Translated to simple English, UV rays wreak havoc in your skin cells which often results in their death. On macro level, this means that UV light directly causes wrinkles, splotchy pigmentation, sunspots, reduced skin elasticity, degradation of skin texture, loose rough skin, etc. So think twice next time when you decide to visit a solarium. It makes your skin not just temporarily darker, but also permanently older. The damage you accumulate this way is irreversible as far as current science is concerned. Number 4. Take care of nutrition. A diet containing lots of sugar or other refined carbohydrates can accelerate aging. Processed meats, starch, artificial sweeteners and caffeine also contribute negatively to your battle against time. Avoiding these and incorporating olive oil, lots of fresh vegetables and fruits to your diet will not just make you satiated without eating unhealthy foods. This healthy well-balanced diet will also mitigate a lot of damage caused by other aging factors. For example, previously mentioned red grapes contains a substance called resveratrol. Resveratrol is an antimicrobial phenolic compound produced by plants in response to stress, infection or strong UV radiation. Its powerful antioxidant and anti-aging properties will surely help your body and skin stay healthy and fresh. Another antioxidant compound is vitamin C, containing vegetables such as cauliflower and broccoli, or fruits such as lemon, orange, grapefruit and watermelon. But it's not only about the type of food you eat. The amount you eat also matters. Eating too much and having a feeling of being stuffed is bad because that means your body will need to spend a lot of energy to break down and absorb all that eaten food. Number 3. Get enough sleep. Sleep is the absolute champion of regeneration processes. Once we get past 16 hours of being awake, that's when we start to see mental and physiological deterioration in the body. If you sleep less than 7 to 8 hours per 24 hour period, you are in trouble from so many aspects and I'll mention some of them. When you sleep, skin cells can regenerate and facial muscles which create lines during waking hours can relax. We know that lack of sleep impacts memory and cognitive performances in a negative way, but sleep deprivation also could cause your skin to age faster. Good sleep can also ward off many types of illness and disease. Increased development of beta amyloid, which is a toxic protein associated with Alzheimer's disease, gets washed away from your brain during deep sleep at night. So don't sleep long enough and you can expect to develop dementia later in life. Sleep deprivation also affects the reproductive system. Men who are sleeping just 5-6 to six hours a night have a much lower level of testosterone. Lack of sleep also impacts your immune system. Thus, after just one night of 4-5 to five hours of sleep, there is a 70% reduction in anti-cancer immune cells called natural killer cells, which means that short sleep duration puts you at risk of developing different forms of cancer, but also flu and some minor diseases. When you sleep, you are also saving your cardiovascular system since your heart rate drops so your blood pressure goes down. If you want to slow down aging, these reparation processes cannot be ignored because your skin manifests what happens inside you. Number 2. Take care of your mental health. First of all, find a purpose for your life. Whether you have big plans or just want to live a quiet, peaceful life, what matters is to figure out your ideal version of it. Be realistic and once you figure it out, start working towards that goal. Not knowing what you want for too long will lead to insecurity, instability and lack of confidence, which ultimately causes a chronic stress. 
Chronic stress accelerates premature aging by shortening DNA telomeres. Besides shortening telomeres, one of the mechanisms stress can age you faster or even kill you includes increased levels of cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone. Elevated cortisol levels interfere with learning and memory, lower immune function and bone density, and increase blood pressure, cholesterol, and heart disease. In other words, stress ages us not just psychologically but also biologically. Overthinking things is also not good for you, will at least cause you premature gray hairs. But probably the most important strategy of avoiding stress is to avoid conflicts unless they are absolutely inevitable. In our everyday life, there is nothing that triggers fight or flight response more than a serious argument. Especially inconvenient is when that argument turns into an open hostility and hate and for some reason you are forced to often be around that person or group of people, depends on how many adversaries you have. And finally, the number one tip is, do not push yourself to the limits. Everything I previously said about stress applies here as well. But this is the ultimate summation of what might be wrong with your life and how you can fix it, since it puts all those minor unhealthy habits of your lifestyle into a context. When you think of pushing yourself to the limits, probably the first thing that comes to your mind is career. Yes, unless you have ambitions to become the greatest of the greatest in something, you should absolutely relax and realize that not everything depends on you. But pushing yourself to the limits is much more than that. I already mentioned exercises and what should be your signal to stop working out, but we can also discuss friendships, relationships, even family and kids. You must not go too far in your dedication to these, to a point of sacrificing your health. Decide your priorities and make a schedule for 24 hour period. If you notice the day is too short for you, then you're doing something wrong. You have either taken too much of a burden on your shoulders or you're not well organized. Procrastination, particularly among students, is the major enemy of being well organized. Thinking that you have enough time to finish something often leads to you not having enough time to finish that. Unless you literally do not sleep for a day or two and use heavy doses of caffeine. However, that will not just significantly reduce the quality of your knowledge, it will also hit you with a high dosage of stress during those few days when you actually try to force your brain into mastering much more than it physiologically can. And it's not only lack of sleep that is a problem during these couple of days, but also unhealthy diet, lack of physical activity, and so on. When living like this becomes a habit, acute stress becomes a chronic stress and your body gets doomed to a fast decline in health and youthfulness. A clear sign that you pushed yourself to the limits in at least one area of your life is the feeling of just wanting to sleep for many days in a row and not caring about anything. Guys, let's be honest, it's not easy to maintain a youthful appearance, especially after you hit 30s. Solution is not to live fast if you want to stay young for a long time. The faster and more stressful your lifestyle is, the more energy your body produces in various chemical reactions. Producing a lot of energy also means producing a lot of previously mentioned free radicals. These reactive molecules damage your cells, thus making you look older. That's why, for example, it's better to eat less and work out less than to eat more and work out more, at least from the point of slowing down the aging process. Apparently, you can't use this logic if you want to become a track and field champion, for example. Stay young and healthy as long as you can, because it's not long before science makes a huge leap and finds a way to reverse damage that causes aging. After all, there are organisms in nature that are biologically immortal, such as Hydra. And to finish the video in an optimistic view, aging and mortality of humans are dire consequences of our imperfect bodies, which we might be able to fix one day. See you next time!